Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and really appreciate you guys swinging by and spending a little time with me on today's video. Today guys, I'm going to give sort of a basic foundational approach on choosing the right skirt colors, um, whether it be a jig or a spinner bait or a buzz bait or a chatter bait or something like that. I think uh, one of the things that uh, we're trying to do here on The Fishing Teacher is we're trying to build a foundation for people that are, you know, getting started in the sport of fishing. And even if you've been fishing for a while, this could probably still help you out. But choosing the uh, right skirt color based upon, you know, a, a, a very various uh, degrees of different conditions you have on the water and in the lake makes a big difference in the amount of success you're going to have and the amount of fish you're going to catch. So we're going to get into that in today's video. And also guys, just wanted to give you guys another big thanks. Everybody out there that's been using my Tackle Warehouse link that I put in the description. If you guys need any fishing gear at all, and if you use that link, the channel gets a small percentage of those proceeds at the sale. So that's a good way to give back if you'd like to support the channel here, much appreciated. Put the, I'll put the link in the description again. Okay guys, let's talk. I wanna, what I wanna do here is I wanna give sort of a, a, a basic approach to skirt colors and stuff like that. Now, specifically in today, I'm, I wanna talk about, you know, jigs and like chatter baits. Now there's a different degree as far as the, the colors, like on spinner baits and stuff like that, and buzz baits, because most of the time when you're using a spinner bait or buzz bait, you're trying to resemble a shad. So for the most part, your spinnerbait and your buzzbait colors, uh, with the exception of maybe black for low light conditions, are gonna be like <clears throat> pearls and whites and chartreuses and stuff like that. And obviously the, uh, you know, the dirtier the water, the brighter the skirt color, and the cleaner the water, the more natural you want. <clears throat> but specifically more, what I wanna talk about is with jigs and chatterbaits, because jigs and chatterbaits are the same thing. Now, to keep it simple, to give you guys just a simple approach with it, Think in terms, when you're looking for a jig skirt or you're looking for a jig or chatterbait, think in terms of like a darker color, like a black and blue, something like this, or a more natural pattern with some type of a pumpkin or watermelon in it. That's sort of the shades that you have to look. Like black with some blue, black chartreuse, darker colors, or more natural tones like that. This is all you really have to need to know in terms of selecting that. Now. There's a couple different variables as far as when to select what. First of all, water clarity. Water clarity has a big role to play as far as you know selecting you know different type of jig and chatterbait skirt colors. In general, if you have water visibility that is less than like a foot and a half, anywhere between say six inches to a foot and a half, you're going to catch a lot more fish going with a more darker color like a black and blue black and chartreuse, black, something like that. It's gonna silhouette more in that dirtier water. Also, if you've got a low light condition, say it's early in the morning, or if it's rainy or cloudy or something like that, the same color, the black and blues or the darker colors could work in a little bit clearer water, like maybe down to three feet, if you have low light conditions where it's a little bit darker. The whole thing is you're wanting to make this bait stand out just a little bit in the water and uh, you have to have the dirty water or the low light conditions for the black or blue, something like that to work. <clears throat> now, if you've got cleaner water, say if you've got water visibility of like over two and a half foot, you're gonna do a lot better on the more natural tones. The green pumpkins, the watermelons, the browns, more of a natural looking tone because in that clear water, you do not want the bait to stand out. You know, you can imagine how this thing looks if you put it in four foot of water visibility it's gonna stand out and not look very natural. But if you put something like this in four foot of visibility, it's gonna be more natural, it's gonna blend in, it's gonna look more like a crawdad, you're gonna get more bites with it. Um, and also, you know, even on a cloudy day, if you've got clear, clear water, um, these will still work on a cloudy day. Sometimes I'll put like a little chartreuse on my trailer to brighten it up a little bit. But there's a lot of different colors, like there's different patterns of green pumpkin and watermelon and there's different patterns of black and blue. Like this one here is sort of like got more blue than black. Some of them have got more black than blue, um, but don't get caught up on a specific, specific color pattern. Think in terms of natural colors or darker colors based upon your water clarity and your light conditions. Now, another thing is wind plays a little bit of role in that too. If you have a real windy day, even if you got some a little bit cleaner water or uh, you know conditions like that, sometimes a darker jig can work a little bit better if it's really windy because again the wind breaks up the surface clarity. It uh, makes it a little bit harder for the fish to uh, 
you know, see if that bait is higher in the water column. And uh, even if the water's clear, sometimes if it's really windy, I can catch them on a little bit darker jig too. <laughs> but the main thing, guys, is you can't go wrong. If you if you go out there and you say, okay, Randy, I want to simplify my jig fishing and my chatterbait fishing. All you need is, is get something with some green pumpkin or watermelon in it and get a black and blue. And it doesn't matter if you're throwing a chatterbait or a jig, uh, you're going to catch some fish on that. Now, every jig manufacturer or chatterbait manufacturer has tons of different colors. And a lot of that is to uh, be more attractive to the anglers and the bass, but just try to keep it simple and think in terms of the natural versus the color that stands out more. And you're going to definitely add it to a lot more bites. So hope it helps out guys. We'll talk later.